guitar player is probably better than he is. Yeah, yeah I've, I've seen, seen him twice now. This guy's name is Scott Holt. The tall guy. Yeah. Oh, man, he's kicking ass. This guy was quiet. He's fast. He's still recording real red. And he plays really sweet stuff. He's really single moment. He doesn't get that much chance to. And he invited a guest, a uh, little fiddle player, a circle. He sat upstage and could stand up and boogie, you know? Oh, yeah. I know that bass comedian. Thank you. I thought it was a trick question. Is this a vision center or what? I'm not going to give you some of that. I'm not going to touch this. Watch out, those are those x-ray uh, glasses. They can see through your underwear. I ain't got any on. I guess he's having a good time. I don't know where that slip of paper say. What does that flip of paper say? On the count of three. One, two, three. Master! Thank you for your tribute. Right on, A funny thing happened to me. Now, keep those slips. If you are found without one at the end of the show, you will be sacrificed. That would be very nice. A funny thing happened to me on the way to the club. I became nervous because you're evil. My father says, son, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. And I said to him, Dad, you catch more flies with money than you do with either vinegar or honey. <laughs> and he said, son, money don't grow on trees. And I said, I know it falls out of your fat wallet, fool! Now fork it over! Pronto! Papé! Have a espanol? I'm a failure. Me too. But my dog was on TV once, and I rewarded him. I put a beef-flavored bullion cube in the toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and for dessert, a chicken-flavored bowl. <laughs> My dog is special because I spank him with a special newspaper. It's eight pages long, and every single word on it is bad dog. And it has his picture on the front, and there's a headline on page two. Extra, extra, give me leave Zulu on rug, get spanked. <laughs> page three, ads for carpet cleaners. <laughs> I'd like to get serious for a moment. There's a lot of senseless violence going on in our community. And I say, let's stop the senseless violence and have some sensible violence for a change. <laughs> what I'm talking about transcends anything that occurred in the last week or the last day. Sensible violence. Also, bring back the British monarchy. Those are two of my platforms for my presidential campaign. I was thinking about Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Yeah, with a name like Humpty Dumpty, you're not going to be making the party scene very much now, are you? <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Humpty Dumpty. Oh, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Hey, you're not prejudiced against me. Just get up an egg. I'm a white egg. <laughs> Come on, Humpty. Just scram, OK? Beat it. I can't hang out with a guy named Dumpty. Paging Mr. Dumpty. 85 days. I have another campaign platform. This one's addressed to Mark Bigginess. Kill everybody else and save the whales. <laughs> okay, because like, because um, we, we saw some animal uh, rights people marching down the street, and some of them were having dogs on leashes, right? And I wonder if the dogs knew that they were sacrificing their public esteem for them. Isn't that sweet? But I think we should save whales, because whales are good. They vomit their stinking ambergris on the world's oceans and provide us with perfume. They get beached up in inaccessible locations and we can all gawk at them and feel sorry for them and feel better about being human. And after two legs, it's gonna be a big fat stupid whale with no legs! He got me for presents of inaccessible objects while rooms and Eskimos gawk! 
Sell, sell souvenirs, trinkets? I had a beached whale souvenir, but it was too big to fit in the car. So I floated it home. But then it got stranded. I'm along here on I've Got Helmet Head. Ew! This sudden mystery disease. Helmet Head. Uh oh, look out, it's Cowboy Hat Head. Look out, it's Desperado Hat Head. Who are you, Bart Simpson? And where the hell is, is Derby Hat Head? Derby Hat Head left his head at home. I applied for a job, and I handed the personnel officer my resume. And it read, this is my resume. It's mine. Get your hands off it, you filthy monkey! <laughs> and when the personnel director looked up, my hands were clenched around his throat! Because I hate work. I hate play, too. I want to get back to my thoughts and my true nature, which means I will be embracing the boy very soon. But before I do, my presidential message, ignore the curtain behind the man. I want you to register me on the ballot in all 50 states. Okay, maybe not Arizona. For that, for that matter, forget Mississippi, that's not really a part of the United States anyway. For that matter, forget New York. And for that matter, California. These states don't belong to the United States. I just want to be on the ballot on the good states. Indiana, Arkansas, you know, the real American states, the meaty, dripping with, with cow blood type states that you can wrap your big fat fist around and say, these are American. I don't want to be registered in communist states like Massachusetts or, or weird hippie states like Vermont or, or people who own condo on Bear Mountain, Loon Mountain and losing a fortune type states like New Hampshire or, or run, by, run by the lumber barons type states like Maine. No, I'm very picky about what states I want to be registered in. But this presidential campaign is beginning to bore me. You are beginning to bore me. I'm the Spurs, the Jingle Jangle Jingle.
John, a little more bass, too much trouble on his end. A little more volume on the monitors on this one, please. There you go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Heaven. Heaven. Heaven who? Heaven's door. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, of course, our very own. So the right hero, we have our own wrong hero on who's going to display our sign. It is, how, where'd that sign go? Where did it come from? Where was it for about a month or so? So we take it down while they're painting? When my planet exploded and I was hurled from the radioactive wreckage of it towards this one, this sign miraculously yeah. materialized. It is written in my native tongue, which is... Hero Ease. Hero Ease. That's right. And it says, If I say, if you <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, it says, The Middle East Cafe. And that's where you're at. The Middle East Cafe. And this is Campaign 92 for the wrong hero. They canceled Earth Day because the moon was jealous. I woke up. Why does Earth get all hot with that? Hey, hey. Nobody ever pays attention to that. David Duke is no longer running for president. Riots in Los Angeles. Why am I not surprised? Why? Elvis on the stamp? Bill Clinton running for president? Why isn't it the other way around? Bush was stunned by the Rodney King verdict. Whoa, I didn't even know those policemen were brought to trial. Surely. Uh, Ross Perot looks like Ren on the Ren and Stimpy show. I'm the cat. I'm the cat. The money is mine. I'm the cat. I am not a candidate of the Greens. I am a candidate of the Blues. In my administration, we will pour federal funds into bill collecting, drug testing, video surveillance, and mortgage foreclosures. The boom industries of the 90s. I'm the wrong hero, and if I'm elected president, you the people are the boss. You're the masterminds, big shots. You're the head honchos, big cheesies. You're holding the railings, big cheesies. You have the last word, big boss men. You crack the whip, big boys. You're the man in the front office, Mr. Big. You're the man upstairs, master. You're in the driver's seat, captain. You call the shots, big guy. You're at the helm, skipper. You got the big shoes, number one. Can I wipe your ass, governor? Yes, all this and more if you elect the wrong hero as your president. My campaign pledges. I will use any force necessary to restore disorder. I promise I will always lie to you. I will pour your tax dollars down a rat hole, you suckers. I will have a topless lunch in the White House and a bottomless cup of coffee in the press pool. I say, America, America is in trouble. Short attention spans, inability to recognize comic monologues, all of the symptoms of incipient decay of the mental infrastructure of this country. However, if the two members of the hats, watches, tattoos, glasses, and dark clothing club would like to attend to the order of business, which is my candidacy at it, J-L-D, it. If you will kindly bear with me. Hey, you want to shoot some dice? I'm sorry, but I wouldn't take that chance. It's too dicey. How do you not believe me? I stand on my record. If I were a rich man, not to dream the impossible dream. I refuse to go and debate my opponents. Let them come here to effect. 
<laughs> yes, let them come to my evil lair. In this world, I am gone. He's here. He's going to play the other. So anyway, as I was saying, if elected, I promise. What? Remember this. I'm not Jerry Brown, he's 20 
from his parents. I'm not Buchanan, who sucked up to every media fat cat in town. I'm not Bill Clinton, who feeds the, 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 the parasites in Arkansas with fat government contracts. I'm not George Bush, I'm not the last time the better. I ain't got no feather bed to catch me when I fall, because I'm the wrong hero. And you have failed. Thank you. Thank you for Just our court gesture. Uh, he's a little bit has a little bit of the energy up because he's playing down at the Cambridge Festival this afternoon, so that has transpired to the release. Right now we're going to bring up Chuck Luck on guitar, Tommy L on drums. Uh, what I'll do is bring up West Coast Tommy. arena. 
I have been the man in the arena. I have fought long and hard to gain your nomination and hopefully that of the rest of this great country. But I've been aware all along that one misstep could bring disaster. And my campaign would be an utter flop. That would be the greatest tragedy of all, as befits a man who wears the ring of destiny.
and he did. This is the wrong era, but we to remind you that art is stupid and life is long. I am referring to Art Linkletter. <laughs> you give good audience. Thank you. Like my hair? Love your hair, Daddy. Oh, stand up. Let's see the hair. Come on. Come on. Come on. Standing up. Standing up. Just for a second. Come on. We got time to waste. Come on, Tony. You're the best. Victim. Okay, don't get up. Hey, listen. You guys might think that I'm like nothing and nobody. See these shoulder pads? I'm a journalist in my secret identity, and I wear them on my knees. And guess what? I got a bullet surprise. I pulled a chicken out of my underwear. Okay, I will. I'll pull a Coke can and say, hey, how did this Coke can get in my pubic hairs? Okay. I got a car. I got a car. Some people give grandiose names to their car. I do not make that mistake with Air Force One. Yeah, I got an outstanding parking ticket. It was outstanding for its bravery and in getting into the car with me in the first place. Thank you. You're beautiful, really beautiful. I never wear a tie, but when a funeral procession goes by, I pull my shirt over my head in case I catch something. Thank you, Tim. One laugh. I support President Quayle. I think Candace Bergen is an evil witch telling us what phone service they use in her car to send it. Bloody ass for the voice. Oh, you do know how those kids will talk on you, fellow now, don't you? So I say more power to Dan Quayle. You know what? Dan Quayle's going after Superman next for flying without a license. Hey, do you and Keith have the same parents? Keith, he's a mood. Okay. I'm going to tell you just to wrap it up. Just to wrap it up, I'm going to tell you what I hate. I hate them 20% off sales. You ever read the papers, 20% off today only? What I want to know is, if they can afford to give you 20% off, why the hell don't they just go the whole hog and give me this? That's the kind of sale I like. There's a lot of brothers walking around with Malcolm X hats and Martin Luther King t-shirts. I'm going to start walking around with a Jesus Christ hat and a Moses t-shirt. Okay? Just for fun. You know, a wise man said, it takes a minute to learn how to be immortal, but it takes a lifetime to carry it out. And I hear tell of a Swami who is 5,000 years old, and once every 144 years, he gives lessons on immortality. And in pondering this, I wonder, what is this man's booking agent like? Swami, you got a big gig in two and a half years, better get ready. You know? Like, Swami, listen, you don't have to come, you don't have to come to them, they'll come to you. You're at this dynamite, immortality. That time in your world. Well, speaking of immortality, I'm working on a movie. My very next film will be called White Men Can't Jump, nor do they do a particularly good time at coming up with movie titles either. <laughs> My thanks to the drummer, to the man behind the big guitar, and Which concluded repentance, justice, and 
Medical science makes 